What's your minimum specification? A lot of people have asked me, Ian, what's all that stuff behind you when you make your videos? What's all this random equipment and crap? Well, this is a video purely on some of that crap that sits behind me. Now, if you look at the thumbnail, you might think you know what this is. But this is what it is. Rick Astley, never going to give you up. Yes, this is actually the Never Gonna Give You Up single slash vinyl album, actual vinyl. Um, picked it out of my mum's collection. She didn't realise she had it. Um, but yeah, this makes it look like it's a B-side. But no, this is actually the full proper A-side, Never Gonna Give You Up. Um, yeah, it's been in my videos for a little while. And some of you have noticed it, some of you haven't. Um, if you haven't noticed it by now, go back and look at some of the other videos. Uh, this is the 1987 print. I think that's when the song came out anyway, which means I'm I'm older than this song, which is uh, perhaps a good thing. And on side one, we've got Never Gonna Give You Up. Whenever you need somebody, together forever, it would take a strong man, the lover's gone. Side two, don't say goodbye, slipping away, no more looking for love, you move me when I fall in love. Lots and lots of songs about love. But Never Gonna Give You Up is the big one, obviously. Um, little blurb here about Rick, about how he used to make ro model railway locomotives before he became a singer, songwriter, performer, internet meme. He's leveraging the meme now, isn't he? Uh, but yeah, put this in the background of my videos and thought I'd troll you all. Um, but no, actual the actual thing that is in the thumbnail for this video that you want to see um, is this Fantabulous GPU in gold. Ooh, shiny. Now, a few people have seen it and wondering what the heck is it, especially because it appeared roughly around when the RTX 3000 series um, launched, thinking, is this a super secret GPU? And no, if you hadn't guessed already, it's 3D printed. Um, this is an RTX 3080 uh, done, by, done by my friend uh, Domenico Lamberti. I sent him the 3D models after I saw them post online and said, can you make this? And he went, sure, let me have a go. He had some gold filament and... Made it, and yes, yeah, no, it's a really good facsimile. We've got a vent here, four display ports, PCIe bracket, and it's come out really well. I'm surprised it came out this well, and perhaps I shouldn't be surprised. 3D printing has come on a lot. And this is actually meant to be a money box, um, hence the holes. Dom asked me if I wanted to, it to actually come apart like a money box, and I said, no, this is purely for decorative purposes. So it's all sealed in and shut, and any money that goes in isn't coming out. Um, it isn't see-through with the fan area, like, you know, a normal RTX 3080 is, just because I would hate to see the 3D model print of that. But yeah, no, this is fun, and if any... Um, if any press agents are listening in and thinking about stuff to go in alongside launches, this is probably it. Now, size-wise, um, here's an Intel LGA CPU, um, standard consumer CPU. Uh, this uh, this 3D print is actually about 80% the size of a normal one, hence you know the reason not, perhaps not to get a 3090. And here's a British 20p piece for size as well. But I really, really like how this came out with all the fins. Um, and you know it came through the mail perfectly fine. It's all glued together, and it's 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 a little bit of art. And I think we should have more of this, especially if you can't get hold of one of these GPUs because they're quite rare, and you don't want to spend five, seven, nine hundred dollars on one. Hey, three D printer model, um, kind of awesome. Now, what Dom didn't tell me is that he also put this in the box as well, the Intel four thousand and four. Um, if you don't know what this is, this is Intel's first CPU um, in white ceramic packaging um, and gold with the gold um, pins as well. If you actually wanted to buy one of these, um, an original one, not this you know massive oversized 3D printed one, which is still fairly awesome, um, they actually go for quite a lot of money. Uh, I doubt I'll bother buying one in my lifetime. Um, but yeah, I wasn't expecting this and it's come out really well and it's in the background of my videos and... Nobody's seen this one, but it, it was a bit hard to see from a bit far away. But I really like it, and you know, thanks to Dom for sending me it. Uh, yeah, if, if if I ever, or if when I ever get a merch store, I think this is the stuff that I'm going to have to put in it for for you guys. If if you want to buy some potato merch, 3D printer models of you know some of the most iconic CPUs and GPUs in the market. And yeah, like I said, if if people should be able to buy these if they if they uh, can't actually get the hardware retail either due to stock or just because they don't have that much money, it's I really like them, and I hope you do too. 
Um, there's some more crap behind me. I'm sure I'll do another video on the rest of it soon. Um, thank you to my Patreons. Uh, they really are supportive. They really help move the channel along. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please let me know if you like this sort of easy bait content. There'll be more complex stuff in the pipeline, no doubt. So thank you for watching and don't forget, what's your minimum specification? RTX 3080, 3D printed, clearly. Maybe we should go 3090 next time.